Hey everyone, it is Ben here again for another edition of my Team of Wardrobe Tour. This time we are doing Season 6. So, um, as you guys know, Team Wolf has been delayed in the production and it won't be airing until November 15th. But thanks to the lovely behind the scenes photos, Tyler Posey's Snapchat, and the trailers, we're able to kind of as a community piece everything together and figure out what she's wearing before the season airs. Like this dress. I love, love, love this dress. It is so comfortable. It's like pajamas and a dress. And it's not constricted. It's not fitted funny. It's not... Oh gosh, there's no weird like secret zippers or buttons anywhere. It is just a shift dress and I love it. And it comes in a large. This is a large as well. So I know I get questions from the plus size community of just fashionistas and plus size cosplayers about Lydia's pieces. This dress is amazing. Um, I will say though, it, it does, if you're plus size, it does hug in the areas, but then it also flows in the areas that you want it to flow. So this dress is just amazing for that as well. Um, the material up close and personal, this is what it looks like. Um, it is kind of like a stretchy material and when you do, it becomes kind of sheer. So I'm going to show you just a little bit here. So if you have like a bigger bust, you will see that it will stretch the flowers out and it will kind of cause this like sheerness in the dress. So I recommend wearing a cami underneath it. Um, if you have a bigger bust or if you are kind of self-conscious that it will tug in areas that you're not comfortable with, I just recommend a cami underneath it. So a few things um, about season six is that I did own the BP chambray dress, which was like the half bun and it's a behind the scene photo with Tyler and Shelly. That dress is very interesting. Um, it was like loose on my arms, but then tight in other places. And then some people were saying it's tight on my arms, but it's loose in other places. So it's an interesting dress. I don't really know what to think about it. Um, so I ended up giving it to somebody who now wears it and adores it. But I did have that dress in my collection. So for plus size, it was an XL. And for me, it didn't fit right. Like it was loose here, but then it was snug around the stomach area. And then loose in the bust, which is usually tight in the bust, loose in the stomach area. So it was like a complete opposite dress for me. So I will say this about the Mimi Chica one. I did try an alternative version to that one. It is um, junior sizing, so it does run a size smaller. So just remember to like size up on the romper itself, just because it is tailored for like a junior size. So I think that's it, and I know that we don't have any accessories for season six, other than we know that Lydia wears like these black boots. So I'm really looking forward to season six so we can finally figure out what those black boots are for. So without further ado and no more wasting of your time, let's check out the wardrobe closet. All right, so this is season six, guys. <laughs> this is what I have in my closet so far. I have here, you guys seen this in the trailer as well. This is the Top Shop boxy top. It is just striped, kind of like color blocked all around. I was surprised by the material itself. It's like a scuba material. It's super thick, which I didn't think it would be this material when I saw it on the trailer. So I was really surprised when I got it. Okay, so a few things to keep in mind. I get some questions. Um, it does come in use UK sizing. Mine is a US 12 and this is a UK 16. So just keep that in mind. So for me, this UK 16 size US 12 works fine for me. It actually is a little oversized, how it's supposed to be and how the fit is on Holland is also oversized. All right, up next is another Lush dress. This is a Lush mock neck floral dress. It goes all the way around. There's no constricting. There's no hidden zippers. There is nothing out of the ordinary for this dress and it fits great. This is actually a size large, I believe, um, and it fits my body just fine. The dress is just like this less dress. It does stretch, so like the flowers will stretch as certain areas stretch more. So like if you're bust, busty, it's gonna stretch a little bit on the flowers a little more. Hopefully you guys can kind of see how it does that on the camera. Up next is the Free People Love Potion, I believe it's called. <laughs> I will have everything to the side, like I always say, this is size large. And I paired it with um, my Forever 21 cardigan that I used for the floral ruffle skirt from season four. Um, this is kind of how she pairs it and she wears jeans with it. So I'm curious to know everything else about that outfit, just how it's going to look on screen. But this top is gorgeous. I wasn't sure how I would like it. Free People always runs um, oversized, so plus size girls, this would work out just fine. Mine's a large and I love it on my body. Um, it has these fun like little kind of details onto it as well. And 
I don't know if I can show you on here. Maybe I can. It has like a split back. Do you guys see it? See it? <laughs> That's probably why she's wearing the cardigan, just to cover that up just a little bit. So yeah. But as you guys can tell, I, I'm prepping for my style section. Oh, this is, sorry, this is not styles. This is Chanel. <laughs> Chanel number five. But this is pretty much my collection. I have a few other pieces that I just need to rummage through and put in here for my next video. So yeah, that's it. All right, so that's it for my season six wardrobe tour of Lydia Martin. I will share with you as I get more into the collection or pieces that I like, um, I will share it on the vlog. And also make sure you catch me on my social media. If you have any questions, all listed down below. Comment, like, whatever you have questions about, I'm more than willing to answer them. And also make sure you stay tuned on November 15th for the final season of Teen Wolf. I'm so sad. <laughs>